Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be finishing up our powder coat booth. Uh, but first things first, I got to run to Conway real quick. I mentioned this at the end of the last video. Um, so, I got to run to Conway, pick up something real quick. Um, I've been looking for one of these to upgrade our sandblast setup, and I finally found a good deal on one. So, I'm going to pick it up, and I guess I'll catch off when we get back uh, here. And, uh... Well, we'll get this thing finished up. All right, so it's a couple days later. I uh, got the booth moved over here because um, we're going to work on it in this video. But uh, at the same time, we got these doors in here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start cutting cutting these up. Um, I explained it in the video. I don't know which video is going to go up before. But we're going to cut these in half and have an extendable oven. So it can be, you know, just this size or we can put them together and be the whole, you know, the whole deal. So I went ahead and got these in here because it's supposed to rain the next, I think, two or three days in a row. Um, and we really want to get this going. So got these in here. I uh, got the booth in here. And our new purchase, or well, I guess my new purchase, um, bought a pot blaster. So been wanting to get one of these forever. And plumb into our blast cabinet um, and I found this one on marketplace I've been looking for one um, you know try to find a deal uh, same thing with air compressor I've been looking for an air compressor um, for a good deal but found this thing for a hundred bucks so pretty happy with that but um, we're not gonna get to work on this today so it's already getting kind of late in the day and I got a bunch of stuff I gotta do so uh, I'll catch y'all, and this will be a different video as well, but I'll catch y'all here in a day or so, and we'll go ahead and uh, start finishing up our booth. All right, so uh, we got the oven uh, panels cut. Uh, they're out there, but now that they're out there, um, I can kind of do a little more on the booth. So I haven't really figured out what I want to do for lighting. Um, to be completely honest, because we're not real sure how our hook setup is going to work. Uh, so for the time being, we're going to run it with no light. Probably not the best thing in the world. But we're going to we're going to try it, um, especially because we have these, and these are pretty nice and bright. Um, so it's not a terrible terrible deal. Um, and when I spray stuff after I spray it. I always take that light right there hanging on the side of the toolbox uh, and I look over everything before we bake it to make sure that it's good. So, not too concerned with not having a light. It would be nice to have a light, but um, again, we need to make sure that this whole thing is going to work uh, the way we want it to. I know a lot of people will bore a hole through, um, have some sort of rod, and then hang their parts on said rod. Um, but I wanted to try this because I think this will be stronger for heavier stuff. Um, so, like I said, I wanted to try that. Now, what we're going to do uh, to kind of finish this up for the time being is our powder coat system. It's in there. I didn't want to put it back over there because I knew we were going to do this. Uh, I want to figure out some way to be able to hang that on the side of this. Um and possibly even the gun. We'll see about that. I'm not exactly sure how to accomplish that. <laughs> so uh, I had an idea. I'll go ahead and get it out of the box here and I'll kind of show y'all. Uh, but what I had thought about was taking some finishing nails, just some short finishing nails, um, nailing them into the side of this and then bending them up a little bit. That way we can just kind of hang it and it will stay there. Um, but we can also take it off if need be. So. I'm going to see if I can find some of those little nails that will work for that. Um, and then we will go from there. So, anyway, I guess uh, like I said, I'm going to hunt for some nails. And then uh, here in a second, I'll show you all kind of what I'm talking about here. Okay, so I found these uh, little nails here. And they will work perfectly. Uh, the head of the... Ah, there you go. Uh, the actual head of the nail won't go through, um, but 
I took one of them, hammered it in there, bent it up, uh, and then cut the, that's what that little short piece is from, cut it. Um, now, what I really had intended to do was have two hang it up uh, like so, it's all nice and pretty, um, and that still could work. Um, it's just a little more difficult to remove it. Um, so we might just end up hanging it like so, which I don't really like, so it looks kind of janky, but um, if that's what we have to do, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to mark this and uh, go ahead, get our other nail here, because I think that looks much, much better. And uh, if this will work, that'll be, that'll be nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this marked. Um, same thing, hammer one in, bend it up, cut the head of it off, and uh, we will see how it looks. Okay, so uh, that actually worked. Um, and I like it. It's not exactly level, um, which will probably drive me crazy at some point in time, but for right now, that worked. Um, and then for, I know this is a tangled mess, and this is kind of why I wanted to hang this, because when you're powder coating, um, you get tangled up and everything, and it's kind of a mess. So I wanted to hang this here. Uh, that way, I think our ground wire will reach all the way to the top to our hook there. Uh, so that should be good. Or if we're powder coating a cup, it'll reach right in there. Um, and then, like I said, I want to try to figure up something to be able to hang that gun on. That would be real nice. Um, so that works. Um, you can take it off relatively easily, uh, but the way it's on here, um, it won't like fall off unless you really pull on the thing because um, the way these are bent up. So I think it will be fine. Um, the longer I look at it, the more my OCD bothers me. And I'm probably going to have to level the thing back out. Um, but I'll get that. Don't worry about it. I will get it. So I'm going to do that. And then, uh, like I said, I'm going to test that ground. Make sure it'll reach up top. Because uh, what we did up top for strength, we put a two before up there. And then our hook runs through the top of this box uh, and through that two before. So it actually makes it makes it pretty strong you can see right there and then we have it double nutted that way it won't come loose but it will still spin if we need it to um so we should maybe still be able to uh, turn stuff um that's the idea probably won't work that way but that's the idea so I guess uh, we'll move on. I gotta level that out. But <laughs> I'm gonna try to figure out something again for that gun. Uh, that way we have something to hang it on or something, just something. So I'm gonna figure that out and then uh, I'll show y'all what I can come up with. All right, so for anybody that cares to know, uh, yes, I got that leveled out, looks good. I'm happy with it. Uh, I got it plugged in. Uh, um, I'm 90% sure that this uh, ground is long enough to reach up there, uh, but I am not tall enough to reach up there, so I cannot confirm that. Uh, but it will reach uh, in here inside the booth, so I'm uh, pretty confident it'll reach up there. Anyway, but what I did, um, and this is actually kind of simple. So we have in this piece you have screw here screw here and then these screws here are for these pieces underneath um they have two screws in them uh, these are i believe these were three inch screws that we used on these so they're plenty long enough um for this purpose if they're not i think we have some four inch around here somewhere but what it did made this kind of simple is I back this screw out 
that way you can just hang it right there and it's good um try hanging it here kind of nick that on the wire i don't really like that um so put it here um and it's, it's pretty good uh, it's relatively out of the way um and it's relatively to, easy to hang it um just like so and if you have a bottle on here um you know it can swing out a pretty good bit um to accommodate for again if you have a bottle on there or whatever uh so this will work um nice i've seen where people take like uh, pvc and a piece of plastic uh, glue them together and then screw the plastic to the side of something like this um, and then the end of your gun fits down in the pvc uh that's that's fine um it's actually a really good idea but if you put it you know here the gun like the entire thing sticks out i uh, don't really like that um so on this the only other place you could put it would be down here i put it way down here that way it's still you know kind of concealed um so i don't know how that would work in this instance uh, but this does work so i'm gonna put this here i get my thumbnail here in a moment uh, but i like that i think that's i think that's acceptable um and i might go ahead and just throw another screw into that um that piece there just for a little peace of mind i guess doesn't really matter but um again i do like this so gives you a place you know you can hang the button right here on top of the power strip um, and then right down hit the button if you need it and hang it right back up same thing with the uh, ground you can hang it um, use it for whatever and you can hang it right here just like so and it is out of the way and there's an ant but everything's out of the way you can kind of it looks like a mess here but you can kind of move things around where you need to be um, you still have plenty of slack and the wire for the gun itself uh, the grounds so should be good uh, the button I mean you're, you're gonna be like right here so you have plenty of room for the button and then nothing is permanent so if you you know like we store it in the box from Eastwood so we can just take it down set it in the box uh, and it's out of the way so I guess uh I guess that works I like that and then I didn't want to put anything on that side uh, because I don't really know exactly where we're gonna put this so if you want to put it against the wall uh, you can because there is nothing on this side um, our power strip is already over here uh, for our fan and stuff so this this works perfect um, and then whatever lights we figure out we're going to do you also have uh what four more plugins here for that or three if you want to add another fan or just whatever so i think this i think this works i like this um so at some point i don't really have anything to spray tonight um it's like 9 30 um, and i'm actually about to drag the new pot blaster over here and see if i can figure out what it'll take to put it um or to plumb it into our blast cabinet um so i guess uh we might end up the video here or i might wait i'll see if i have anything coming up that we need to spray um but i reckon for right now this is it um so y'all let me know what y'all think down below in the comments uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, but I think, like I said, I think this will work uh, for the time being. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and drag that out of here. Drag this over here, unbox it, and uh, start on that. And uh, we will see what we can figure out about that. And then, uh, like I said, we might end out the video here, or I might test this thing out. Um, we'll just have to see. Alrighty, guys, so uh, we got that. Put together um i think we got an idea what we need for that but that'll be another video so 
I think uh, as far as right now goes, I don't really have anything uh, lined up to powder coat. So, with that being said, I guess uh, that's going to be a wrap for this video. So, before we finish out this video, I'm going to go ahead and take our gun and everything off. Go ahead and put it back in its box. Um, and then we'll end out this video. So, my grandpa come out here and he looked at everything and he liked it. Uh, but he did have an idea, which I thought was a pretty good idea. Uh, he was saying we might could take some uh, solid copper wire, wrap around uh, our hook in here, wrap around that, um, and run out to the side. That way we can just hook our ground onto the copper wire instead of having to trying to reach, you know, up here. Uh, because I'm six two, six three, somewhere in there, and I can't, I can't even see that bolt up there. Uh, so this is actually a pretty good size booth height wise. Um, but if I can't reach it, I know he can't reach it because he is a good bit shorter than I am. Um, so we might we might go ahead and do that at some point. I won't film that, obviously. It's just, just adding a wire on it. Um, but in a video coming up, we will test this out. I do have some stuff, some people were talking about doing, but nobody's like confirmed I want this done yet. Um, so we will do a video we'll test this thing out um, stay tuned for this like I said we're going to get this plumbed into our blast cabinet uh, but I want to keep this dual purpose that way we can use this separately by itself or we can plumb it in with the cabinet uh, and use that so stay tuned for that we're working on the oven um, as you can tell by the mess in the floor we actually got it stood up outside and I'm pretty excited about that um, so guys I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff up and then we will go ahead and end out the video here all right so in the matter of about a minute and a half everything's tore down back in the box good to go um, and I don't know it might not hurt anything I just rather take it put it back in the box uh, that way it's kind of protected you know you don't snag any wires on anything or anything along that line but at least we know it's nice and simple to put up and take back down um, so it works out really well but guys I think that is going to be a wrap for this video so I wanted to get that finished up and I wanted to kind of show how I did that I originally wasn't going to film it but I wanted again I wanted to show uh, how I did that it might give you all some ideas if you're doing something similar and have a similar setup eventually I'd like to get a more uh, professional I guess you could say gun um, that would be nice to have at some point but for the time being this does the job uh, that's what we got so and for doing small stuff this is perfect um, but again I just wanted to show that uh, again, we probably will do something with the lights. I got to figure out exactly what it is I want to do for that. Um, and then at some point, well, I'll make a video. We'll test this thing out and uh, see how it works. So, guys, with that being said, uh, again, I think that is going to be a wrap for this video. So, if y'all enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everybody has a great day.